as any breaking news, we rush to the spot. Even before I could get an idea of what was happening, I had to start photographing. So I was trying to keep balance between the work I have to do and I was trying to cope up with so much of death, so much of crying, so much of misery. When they're bringing back the bodies, this woman recognized one of them and she just collapsed. It was just not her alone. There were so many other families whose mothers had lost their children. Every picture saddened me. Each image was a tragedy for someone. When I was sitting in the car and trying to send those pictures on my laptop, truckloads of bodies would come and people were screaming and wailing. And they're right in the middle of it and trying to work on my pictures, write the caption and send them. I think it was not a story of the victims, but rather it was of people survived and trying to cope with the sorrow of having lost and trying to get back to their lives. One of my colleagues from Belgium, he told me that people were standing at street corners looking at those pictures in the newspapers and crying right there on the street. After this coverage, I got a lot of appreciation from my work, from my office, then from outside. You like the appreciation, but it's based on huge human tragedy. It makes you feel guilty every time you cover something and leave. So I decided to go back there and look for her. That picture had made her quite a celebrity. She just had to show the picture to someone and uh, he excited to, oh, she, she lives there and everyone knew her. The first time we saw her, she was so happy to see us. She had seen my pictures in newspaper. My photograph. And the moment she saw me, she recognized me. <laughs> and what a huge smile. Sorry, I could put it off. Good, not good. The downside of what I realized that I don't think it really helped her that much. Unfortunately for us, it's our lot to cover tragedies and disasters and people's sorrows. And whatever emotions you feel, you just pack them up and move on to the next assignment. But they always do remain as memories. They come back in dreams. Sometimes I'm seeing those people as if it was yesterday. We are humans and it doesn't matter how much we keep our minds on our work. At the end of it, we are not the same people. You think the camera is like an invisible wall and you are this side of the camera and you are protected and guarded. But slowly, over years, this wall starts disappearing and you feel as vulnerable as the people you are photographing. And you are just thankful after seeing so much of so many years that when you get just come home. And I think this profession has made me respect life and time a lot. And I just thank really every day I come back home, uh, I thank God that I'm okay one more day.